Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 58 till whatever episode I can stop at. I hope at least five episodes, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, until like, I guess my baby wakes up and be like, I need milk, but oh, let's see. What did you do that for? I'm sick of it. Your Grace, your family didn't give you that. If you ever received something like you did today, throw it away immediately. But what was it? Wherever that was, that princess is not herself. So be careful of her. All right. He changed his gloves. You must really loathe her. At a glance, it didn't it did look strange, but how could he be so sure? It's possible it was my family who gave it to me. Or did he also receive the same thing before? Besides, why is the princess so obsessed with him in the first place? She recovered from her illness not long ago. I doubt she would have had many opportunities to see him. Or was it love at first sight? Oh. Hmm. Anyway, what should I do about that mother thing? It would come as a big surprise to everyone. That night, my concern became reality. Uh, mother. What's the meaning of this? Ma Everyone's reacting the same way. Uh, mother? I told him it was okay. Uh, then what's the relation exactly? She's a sister to Lady Isleti and a mother to the young master. I decided to call the Grand Duchess mother as of today and she has allowed me to call her that but why would she allow such a thing I thought the marriage is a one-year contract I knew she would feel overwhelmed but this is the only way to keep her here I hope you'll cooperate is that his thinking oh Indeed, this could work. <clears throat> huh? It's time to go to school. I'll see you when I get back. Mother? <laughs> He's smiling so happily. Now, I don't know what to think. And it's not like I don't understand how he feels. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 58 It's been a week since Selfie began calling me mother. I think I'm starting to get used to it. <laughs> Good thing we had already organized the nice chambers. And we made sure they were stocked with plenty of supplies, just as you asked. And how fortunate it is to be by your side on a day like this, Your Grace. Oh, and I saw a lawyer stop by today as well. How did it go? Please excuse me, Grace. But a guest from that Zahart Manor has come to see you. Parashati. What is this about, Uncle? I wasn't expecting you. He seems kind of glum, so something must have happened. Please excuse me, Grace. Graces. The... I know I showed up without notice. My apologies. I hear the second unit was has arrived. The list was Countess Zahart's on it, too? If she is, when did she buy it? 
I met your father's servant after visiting his grave with you the other day. Since you've been watching him, you know too. He served your late father for a long time, so he knows more about him than anyone else. And he's the last person to see your father alive. But every time I'd meet and talk to him, he seemed rather reticent. Eventually, he even asked me to stop coming to him. I thought he was just upset about getting kicked out of the house for, his, your, for your father's death. But yesterday, he came to me in the middle of the night and said something strange. Getting kicked out was a weight off my shoulders, to be honest. That day, I was so exhausted I didn't even hear the bell ring. The Countess had told me it was all right for me to rest for a moment, so... I was afraid I might come under suspicion. I mean, no one would believe the words of a commoner like me. Please just kill me. If it's not too late, I want to see his lordship now and apologize. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my lord. father was suffering from a heart disease? The family doctor always stayed at the house because of his frail state. Sorry, me. The family doctor always stayed at the house because of his frail state. His servant guarded his room every day just in case. There was a bell in his room to summon someone in case of an emergency. So you're telling me from what I'm seeing so by far is that the, her father probably been getting fed with like either like stuff to make him sick to the point where like he eventually slowly dies or yeah I don't, that's what I'm getting from this or maybe her father really was sick hmm but still we could not prevent his death he had that illness for such a long time I used to think it was inevitable he said, your father frequently fought with your stepmother before his death, and that they had a long talk his last night as well. We'll need to look into their, that servant more, but I'm highly suspicious of the Countess. She's shaking, but his death wasn't caused by his illness? As I thought, we cannot be together any longer. <gasps> she is sobbing. That's so sad. <sighs> I thought I could read another for episode but unfortunately unfortunately my baby's awake so i will be back oh dude that just aches my heart so now i realize he didn't die from natural causes he didn't die from his illness her stepmom was behind this or allegedly can't really say she did it but that's what they're assuming. So allegedly, the stepmom probably caused the death of Parashati's father. What? All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!